everyone welcome back to bono's tech stuff in this video i'm going to show you how to set up your new razor rip saw so that you can start streaming right away So first we're going to start off by how to physically set up the device, then we're going to go into the software setup, and if you want to skip directly to the OBS software setup, you can click here. First, we start out with your gaming platform of choice. In this example, I'm going to use an Xbox One. The first step is to unplug the HDMI cable that goes from the Xbox to the TV and plug it into your Razer Ripsaw. Then, you take another HDMI cable and plug one side into the Razer Ripsaw and the other side into the TV. The last step is to plug in the USB 3 cable in both the Ripsaw and your recording PC. Honestly, the order we do this in doesn't matter. As long as it's all plugged in this way, it will work. Let's move on to the software setup. Links for all the software you will need are in the description. The first program you will need is the latest version of Razer Synapse. So download it if you don't have it, or make sure it is up to date if you already have it installed. Having Synapse updated to the latest version will install the drivers needed for OBS to recognize your Ripsaw. The next piece of software you will need is Open Broadcast Software, or OBS. At the time of this video, the latest version of OBS Studio is 0.13.4, but in the future you should always use the latest release. Once installed, you will need to open up the settings, and the easiest way to do this is to click the settings over here in the bottom right. You can also click File, and then Settings. These settings that I'm going to show you are just guidelines. You will have to adjust the settings to your specific situation based on your CPU, graphics card, internet connection, etc. These are just the settings that worked for me. The general settings are very basic. What language and theme do you want and do you want notifications? You can skip the stream settings if you are planning on only recording and not streaming your gameplay. These settings are also easy. Pick your service, pick your server, and then paste in your stream key that you get from Twitch or YouTube and you can move on. For most people, the output settings are just fine the way they are. Um, I would at least change the recording format to MP4 if you plan on recording videos and not just streaming. Um, I would also recommend changing the output mode to advanced and learning what all these different settings do. For example, the encoder, you can change it from X264, which is more CPU based, or to a graphics card option like this one. I personally keep it here. That's just how I like it. I also change this to 3500 on mine. And then I change mine to medium because I have a pretty decent processor. The audio settings are pretty self-explanatory. The only one that I change is the desktop audio device. And I do that to my Yeti because I have a blue Yeti and that's what I use. The video settings can also be a little bit confusing. The canvas resolution is what it will be coming into your machine at. We're going to keep that at 1080p. The output resolution is what your recording will be or what your stream will be if you're streaming. And then obviously the FPS is whatever frames per second your streamer recording will be at. Now on Razer's website they do recommend that if you don't have an amazing PC with an extremely good CPU, they recommend going down to either 720p with 60fps, or if you want to stick with 1080p, bumping it down to 30fps. And let's be honest, for those of you who are console gamers, you are rarely getting above 30fps anyway. I personally will be keeping it at a 60 frames per second with a 1080p resolution. I have a decent CPU, so those are my settings. 
For now, we're going to leave the hotkey and advanced settings alone. So you can hit apply and OK to apply all of your settings that we've done so far. The next step is to move on to this scenes section in the bottom left. We're going to click add. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to leave it at the default. Just call it scene for now. And then with that scene, we're going to click our source and then we're going to do video capture device. This one we can call Ripsaw and then hit OK. And then it'll have the Razer Ripsaw game capture card. So for me, I get this signal out of range error right here. Please adjust your resolution to a supported range. And all that is for me is changing this to custom and then 1920 by 1080p and you'll see that the screen will come up here with whatever you're recording. You can go ahead and click OK for that. And I am recording the screen of my razor blade stealth and this is what's on my razor blade stealth right now. And you can see my mouse moving around it's pretty much good to go at this point and this is what people will see as soon as you hit start recording or start streaming we are going to go ahead and click start recording as a test to make sure we have it set up correctly and then let's do something over here Hey, look at that guy. That's enough of that. So, we're going to hit stop recording. Whatever whatever setting that you put right here for the output. Whatever this recording path that you have for the output. you can put it right here and then that video will show up right here and that looks not too shabby it looks like that test worked out perfect so we are all good to go let me know down in the comments below if I missed anything or if you have any questions I am happy to help and that's it for today guys let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this video if you liked it hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos